Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on the Urban Decorations collection of Photoshop Actions. So this collection comes with 82 Photoshop Actions which are meant to enhance the detail, color, and light of your architectural and urban photography. I've got a photograph pulled up already and I'm just going to go ahead and go right into the workflow here and show you guys how it works. So as you can see with this photograph, one of the things that happens a lot of times when you are shooting urban photography or architectural photography is that you get the sun in the background and you kind of get this backlit photo. And it really just darkens up all the shadows and you lose all that detail and the color and light. So I'm going to show you what you can do with this workflow to kind of bring that back into the photograph. So starting with this, I'm going to go ahead and use an exposure action. I've already got my actions loaded up here. So I'm going to be using the Exposure Brighten. And then once you've selected the action, you just go ahead and hit play. And a dialog box is going to come up telling you that you have to kind of change the opacity here to actually make the action happen. So I'm going to hit continue. Right now it's at zero opacity and I'm going to set it to about 60 just to brighten it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image here. The next thing I'm going to do is use a base action. So for this one, I'm going to be using the HDR or the high dynamic range base. All right, so as you can see, that's brought a lot of color and light back into the photograph. If you've shot your photographs on RAW, you probably, it's, it's the better thing to do. You're going to get more detail and be able to bring it out better. As you can see, I've got a little bit of banding going on kind of up in here. That's just because this is a JPEG as opposed to a RAW file. So if you can shoot in RAW, that's the better thing to do. If you can't, you can still work with your JPEGs just fine. Alright, so I'm going to be going to the tone actions and for this one I'm using the cinematic. So I'm going to hit play and I'm just going to go ahead in the opacity and turn this down just a little bit. And now I'm going to be using an all-in-one action. For this photograph, I'm going to be using the all-in-one Dawn Breaker. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on that one. It gives me this dialog box a lot just to tell me to make sure the background is selected. That's if you're working with multiple layers. It just wants to make sure that you are um, applying the action to the right, the right layer, which is the background in this case. Alright, so for this all-in-one, I am going to lower the opacity down to about 20 percent. And then I'm going to go back to my exposure presets. And I'm going to be using the darker blacks. We did brighten it up earlier but now I want those blacks to come back in because I lost them when I applied the HDR base. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And I'm changing the opacity on that to 25%. I'm going to be using a polish preset now. And I'm going to be using the more clarity, which is always great for adding detail. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. Now I'm going to be going into my temperature presets. I'm sorry, not presets, my temperature actions. And we're going to be applying the temperature warmer. And I'm going to be setting that at around 47%. And then I'm going to actually go and use an enhance action. So right here I have my enhance action, so I'm going to be doing the enhance window reflections. So I'm going to hit play and it's giving me this little dialog box that to actually make this action work I need to use a soft white paintbrush on the layer mask here. So I've got my paintbrush set to white and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because the windows are very tiny. And I'm basically going to be using that right in here on all these little window reflections. This can be slightly tedious, but these little tiny details of the reflections in the window are really what can create the photograph and really make the photograph stand out. I mean, you could sit here all day and highlight every single window if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go with the, the already natural light or highlights that are in these windows here.
It really just makes the tiny architectural detail of the windows in the building stand out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image again. I'm going to be using another polish preset. This time I'm going to be using the contrast. So I'm going to hit play for that. And I'm going to change the opacity down to 49%. And then I'm going to use one more preset on this photograph today. And that's going to be a tone preset and I'm going to add a cool tone to the shadows. And I'm going to turn the opacity on that down to 35% so it's not too blue. Alright, so as I mentioned before, um, if you're working with a raw file, you're going to get a much better result. I'm working with a JPEG here, so you can see a little bit of banding here. It's not really that big of a deal right now. I'm just showing you guys how to use this workflow, but there are ways to fix that, and I'm going to go over that in the next few photographs. All right, so I'm done with this photograph. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the original one. All right, so here's the original. So you can see there's a huge difference. We've really brought the color back into the buildings here, back into the phone booths and the sky, and we've got all this detail and light in the buildings now. Because when you're doing architectural photography, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the attention to detail, because that's what's important here. So as you can see, it's made quite a difference. So I'm going to move on now to another photograph. So I have this photograph right here. I'm using the same workflow, the urban decorations, and I'm going to show you how you can use a monochromatic um, color scheme or black and white to kind of enhance the detail in your architecture photography because you might have a picture like this where there isn't a whole lot of color going on and it is kind of bland and it might lend itself to black and white. So I'm going to start with a polish preset though. I'm sorry, I keep saying preset. I'm going to start with a polish action here. And I'm going to be using a sharpening. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on that. It's just giving me the dialog box telling me to make sure I have the background selected. So the next preset I'm going to do is an all-in-one. And this all-in-one is the monochromatic richness one. So this is basically, and it does say black and white, it will tell you that it's going to turn it into black and white. Alright, so that's been applied. So I'm going to go to a tone preset right now. And even though I'm using a tone preset, it's not going to change the black and white effect that I have going on here. And I'm going to be using the tone cinematic. And I'm going to be turning the opacity of that down quite a bit. So it's giving me a subtle pinkness in the sky, but it's not an overwhelming tone and you're still getting that black and white effect. All right, so we're putting another polish preset on top of this one, and I'm going to be using polish more clarity. So you just go ahead and select the action and you hit play. And that's applied that as well. And the last thing I'm going to do is do the action and enhance action. I'm going to be using the dramatic clouds. All right, so this is the same dialog box telling me to use the brush that comes with this. So I'm going to turn the opacity on this down a little bit and I'm just going to be kind of running it up here in the sky here to add a little bit of more contrast and detail to the sky. And you can see on the layer mask where I have kind of already highlighted or used my paintbrush. All right, so I'm done with this photograph. I'm going to pull up the original one now. So the photograph was nice before, but we've gone ahead and given it this kind of nice black and white monochromatic feel. It's got a lot of detail now, a lot of light back into it. It's just an interesting look, and it really makes the structure of this building stand out. So now we're moving on to a third photograph. So 
So for this one, I'm going to start with an exposure action again. So scrolling up to my exposure, I'm going to be doing the reduce highlights 27%, which is really going to bring this sky kind of back into detail here. So I'm hitting play to the action. And this box is just telling me that I need to change the opacity. So we are going to change it to 27%. Now I'm going to use an all-in-one preset. I'm going to be using the all-in-one Beautiful Daylight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And I've gone ahead and applied that to the photograph. Now I'm going to be going into my base actions and then my tone actions. So going to the base actions first, I'm going to be using the Vibrant because I really want to bring out the color in this photograph. So as you can see, it's added a lot of yellows and blues, and it's really given this sign right here kind of a nice glowing, glowing color. And now I'm going to be using a tone preset, I'm sorry, a tone action, and I'm going to be using the color explosion just to add even more color to it. I am going to turn the opacity down on this just a little bit. So I'm going to be using two polish actions now, the make it pop and the more clarity. Okay. So as you can see the make it pop has really made some of the colors stand out and then I'm going to choose the more clarity and I'm going to go ahead and apply the image. Actually I'm going to take one step back, undo flatten image. I'm going to go to the make it pop and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit so it's not too intense. And the clarity as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. So now I'm going to go back into my exposure presets and I'm using the darker blacks. And I'll be setting that at just 32%. It's too much at 100. And like we did with the first photograph, we're going to be using the Enhanced Window Reflection again. So going to the Enhance Actions here, I'm going to be using the Window Reflections. I'm going to hit Play. So I've got my brush here. I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And I'm just using it on these little windows right here. Just to kind of get those details to stand out. All right. I'm going to be using another enhance action right now. I'm going to be using the water definition. And I'm going to be setting this at 22%. And then basically using my brush again to add definition and clarity back into the water here. And it's adding a little bit of light as well. Right, so the last preset, I'm sorry, the last action I'm going to use is a tone warm highlights. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And then I'm going to flatten the image. And I'll go ahead and pull the original image up for you. So you can see there's a big difference. We've added a lot of blue and yellow back into the photograph and light especially. So we have those nice window details going on and a lot of nice gold and sunlight kind of reflections down here. And we've just overall enhanced the photograph. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the Urban Decorations collection of Photoshop Actions, and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.